You know what's creepy is, um, I, I gotta turn down these nature sounds, hold on. Oh, you're almost all the way down. Um, you know what's creepy is that my electricity has gone off twice today. It is, I, and plus I just have this really weird feeling in my head, like I've been drugged or something, like I'm super dizzy. But the power has gone off twice, there's these fly, planes that keep flying overhead. I've gone out to try and look up, but it's so overcast you can't see, you know, because it's Plus, we're in the forest, so it's really hard to see. You have to go out and find a really clear place. You can't see, and it's no airspace. I mean, we're not in a place that is, so it's very noticeable. Well, if you have awareness, it's noticeable. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's uh, not noticeable for everybody. You know, and uh, there was this, I, maybe I talked about this yesterday, I don't remember. Uh, these people who, you know, tell people, oh, just raise your vibration. Don't pay any attention to anything going around. Just, oh. <laughs> you know, uh, anybody can do whatever they want. It's free will. Um, my guidance is very different than that. My guidance is about awareness, choice, faith. Uh, trust, uh, you gotta see what's wrong, to know what's wrong, to make a choice, you know, so it makes no sense to me whatsoever to just uh, bury your head in the sand and pretend like everything's fine, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, because if you, if you actually do go and start looking into things, then you find out, no, nah, mostly everything that you think is true is a lie. You know, the evidence is out there. Oh, and the uh, McAfee thing, uh, you know, on Telegram, I did a TikTok to show how to get to it in case somebody can't find it or whatever. But you, there's so much evidence has been downloaded, like real evidence, like tax forms and who gave what to who and who was uh, all sorts of stuff. Way too much. I'm not going to go through all that. But one thing is, is that... Uh, Starting tomorrow, maybe even today, maybe by midnight, I don't know, but they're going to start releasing the video evidence of the rituals and stuff. And I know a lot of people have been really wanting to see those. Like, people want to see, like, is this for real? This can't be real. But uh, they're going to start releasing it all. So, yeah, you're going to have to be prepared if you want to see it because it's very, very disturbing stuff, you know really sick stuff I don't even know all the stuff I've only heard and it's you know I mean it's a ritual and it involves little children and um, what they do to them they, they do a lot of stuff before they even kill them because the blood's no good until it's adrenalized you know so anyways, all that evidence is going to be coming out. So if there's anybody who wants to go in and get that stuff and share it and stuff, you know, um, that's where it's going to be. Um, Telegram McAfee. And, um, oh, another thing too is, um, I said, I'm not going to watch this, um, American Horror Story this time because, uh, what it's, it's about this stuff. And, um, so one of my friends, she was like, well, I love that show. I got to go in and watch it. So she started watching it and she sent me a clip and it is um, super funny because it is um, a woman sitting there talking to somebody. I'm not sure because I'm not watching the show, but she's talking to them and she's talking about, you know, what's going to be shown on McAfee's thing. And um, she says, you know, I wonder, this is all starting to sound like that QAnon thing was real. <laughs> I'll have to share that clip. Because, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny that that would say that in a television show right now. And this show would also be showing the truth. So, uh, disclosure. And you know the other day when I was talking about that, to me, energetically, it feels like that they are kind of, like they got themselves in a trap. The, whatever you want to call them. The cabal. The whatever. The bad guys. They got themselves in a trap and they didn't realize they were being surrounded because I feel like that there's so much stuff coming out that they cannot stop it. And it is um, coming from all over the place. Like it's just everywhere. 
And you know, I mean, how many, they don't have enough fingers. And plus, I think that they're to the point that they don't even know who to trust anymore, you know? Yeah, they're, I mean, the good news about that is because it's closer to the end, you know? I think we're at the end of these uh, monsters. But we still have a lot of healing to go. I mean, we still have how many ever percentage of people who are going to be sick from these um, poisons and stuff. And then we got people who are still uh, completely confused by the two realities, don't even know what's real and what's not real. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we still have ahead of us, but we're still, you know, finally, I feel like finally we've got movement. I feel like everything was so stagnant for so long. But finally, we have movement. And you know, uh, one other thing that I was thinking about was, um, you know, in nature, I, I just did a TikTok about this, but I was thinking about in nature that there is, you know, three types. Because you think about like a, these animals coming at these other animals or bugs, even spiders, you know, there's certain ones that can come at them and they'll rise up, they'll try and make themselves bigger. They'll hiss, they'll make noise, they'll sh scream, you know, whatever, you know, like, ah, they will you know, empower themselves. And then there's uh, like the little rats, the little mice or whatever, you know, they scurry, roaches, they scurry, they climb all over each other trying to hide, you know? Well, oh, I want the best place, I want the best place. They'll just, you know, go round and round and round like psychotic. And then you have the ones that are, you know, just go bury their heads right in the sand and their ass is just sticking straight up there, um, you know? <laughs> I kind of want to know what's going on back there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, I mean, so, you know, there's a lot of consciousness that has to kind of, you know, come to an awareness, a realization. That's the awakening, you know, and uh, there's a lot of people going through it in all different ways, you know, and I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I feel bad that there's people out there who call themselves, uh, you know, spiritual, uh, uh, whatever, you know, uh, to me, if you, uh, I messaged this girl who was spreading this, you know, oh, just, oh, just sit there, Ooh. okay, yeah, like, you would just want to go back all through this again, like, this isn't bad enough, just go sit and, you know, ignore everything going on around you, don't grow, don't expand, don't evolve, just go hide. Oh, yeah. So I, um, I messaged her and she's like, oh, I can be in several realities at once. I was like, oh, okay, well, good. Because, you know, you're also guiding people who aren't there yet, right? So, you know, go ahead with your ego. See where that takes you in this little karmic cycle. You know, because when you are misleading people, you are attached to that. Like, this is, you know, in all honesty, this is very dangerous for me to even put myself out there like this, to give any guidance to anybody, because people latch on. People, you know, like the barnacles, they'll latch on, like, oh, somebody save me, somebody save me. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not anybody's savior. I had to save myself. I had a huge crisis in my life. I had to go through the dark night. I had an awakening. I had a spiritual evolution that happened in my personal life. And uh, that's what I try and share is, you know, what I learned through that, what I learned through the process of life. And, um, you know, I believe it's about sharing. It, that's how we grow. It's about sharing and stuff. So I'm not trying to go out there and say, I, you know, my biggest thing that I'm constantly saying, this is about growth. This is an evolution. This is an awakening. This is you figuring out who and what you are, you know, and you are faced with a very, you know, two completely different, uh, it's like the, uh, you know, in that uh, balancing thing, right? You, we have two totally different things. And you got to pick which one you align with. You, you can't just be like, it, it won't, you can't ascend. You can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to ascend by just, you know, sitting here and doing nothing and waiting for it to happen. The ascension is the growth. The ascension is the process. That's how you do it. 
you grow, you heal, you expand. That's the ascension. It, it just takes you naturally to a place of higher-minded consciousness, of uh, higher vibration. The higher vibration comes with the release of the burdens that you carry in you. You know, the things that, you know, control you, that you don't even realize are controlling you. And it's the release of those things is what raises your vibration. I mean, these people who, you know, I've talked about, I don't even know how many times about that. The pet peeve with the people, oh, just stop eating meat. You'll raise your vibration. Like everybody just wants the quick fix. Everybody just wants something. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to feel the pain. They don't want to grow. They just want the results. This isn't that kind of thing that's going on here. You, you don't get to skip. And, you know, it's not candy land, you know, skip and go to the beginning and start at whatever. It will be go to the beginning and start over. That's what will and ultimately happen for somebody who is in that state. Because um, it's, it's, it's just not how it works, you know. And, uh, you know, at, at any time through, throughout my uh, awakening, throughout my dark night and stuff, you know, and it's dark. I'm not, I mean, when I say it's dark, when, it, when they call it a dark night of the soul, they aren't shitting you. <laughs> it's dark. Like, it is hard, hard to see the light. It's painful. And it is, uh, it is uh, such a, a, a reflection of yourself, but it is, it's, it's very deep. It's, it's very cleansing. It's very difficult to get through. Like, very difficult. And there will be people who are going to get really hung up in it. Who are going to have a hard time getting through it. You know? And suicide's going to seem like, oh, I just need to end it. I can't do this. I'm, I'm horrible. I just need to end this. That's, the, that's not what you need to do. Because you're just going to go right back into another life and have to do it all over again. You know? You, you can't escape yourself. Because you are a soul on a soul journey. So even if you try and escape this lesson... That lesson will be repeated because that's how it works in the soul world, <laughs> you know, your soul, you may, you know, your ego, your emotions, your, you know, all this stuff and your guidance, you know, a lot of people are being guided by dark, dark energy, man, real dark energy. And, uh, you know, you, you have to begin to recognize that energy, you know, if you have energy that's just talking shit to you all the time and bringing you down, you know, you have to have discernment. You have to realize that that is coming from out here. That is not coming from in there. It's what you've tuned into. If you've tuned into that, it's your responsibility to pull yourself back out of it. Find what you can to align yourself into healing. And, uh, you know, it's, to me, it's about love and acceptance and you know forgiveness and stuff oh and another thing too i saw yesterday uh, that was interesting was um it was uh this uh i think it was a channeler or something it was channeling like the palladians or something like that you know there's tons of those all of those uh just a whole bunch of channels that have um you know they go in and get channelers and they say whatever it is that they're saying. And then they put like a little story behind it. There's tons of those. But this one was, so I don't know who the channeler was or anything. Because the ones who put these aren't normally, it's not normally that person's channel who's channeling. So um, I don't know who this person was. But they were talking about the laws of the universe. And uh, one of the big ones for higher dimensional beings is, um, it's about awareness. It's about knowing all things. You have to know and see all things to grow. It's the awareness. That's the expansion. You know, that's how you expand as a being. If you limit yourself, see, that's what this whole earth plane has been built on. Limitations, control. Now we see it's built on tyranny and, um, you know, genocide. <laughs> you know, they've done, this isn't the first time they've, you know, uh, done a huge sweep of murder <laughs> you know that's how, that's what they do and uh, they keep everybody distracted so uh, <laughs> it's funny guys how the internet you know uh, 
kind of backfires on them, but they are trying as hard as they can to take everything down. They don't want information passed around, but you know, it's pretty all consuming, especially if there's more and more stuff coming out all the time, everywhere. See what I mean? How can they plug that many holes? There's not that many of them. We so far outnumber them, it's not even funny. So we start sharing all the information. They can only take down so many people, you know? They, they could turn everything off, which, you know, they may do. Who knows? Who knows what these people do? I, you know, this month, I watched uh, Juan last night on David Rodriguez, and um, he said that October is going to be hairy. He said that this is their month of preparing their ritual people. So, you know, the little, they got to plump them up, whatever they do for their creepy shit. You know, this is their month for prep because this is their holy month. And they do a lot of rituals at the end of this month. And um, so they're going to be releasing all the videos of past rituals, that the uh, all the evidence, that McAfee thing. I can't even believe the evidence on that thing. It's just one thing after another. Like anybody who's really into that stuff, man, you could fill your whole day reading that stuff. Um, my eyes aren't good enough. And... And then plus with a brain injury, it's just, uh, I used to be able to read books all the time, but it's, it's uh, a lot more difficult to keep track, uh, you know, like of names and stuff as it's going. It's just, it's too much. It's not, it's like, oh, it's not really worth it to me. So anyways, uh, but all that information will be there for anybody who wants it in uh, um, all those videos. But so this month is their big month. And so that's why they're going to uh, be doing it. But they, had, he said that they are going to be reacting very violently towards all of us. So, you know, we, he said October is going to be a really, really rough month, really bad. And uh, November and December will be somewhat better. But he, he was like, for the rest of this year, it's going to be pretty grim. Um, but I still, you know, from what, if you start putting together all of the other things that all these other people, like Allison Coe, David Wilcock, the guy who was on Nino the other day, and want, like when you start, like I always say, you know, you go out, you get lots and lots of information, just go out, just consume information. Then you start layering it on top of each other, you start seeing there's crossover. That's how I build what I you know, considered to be truth or what resonates with me. It's consistency of information. And um, it, so I really feel like that there is going to be a lot of dark stuff is going to go on, but I feel like that there is going to be uh, also um, a lot of the painful part is going to be probably, you know, one thing that is kind of sad is that a lot of people who got this thing right here, and a lot of people have been wearing these. I just saw a doctor today talking about this and um, talking about how bad it really is for your lung tissue and that that's promoting the growth of this disease and stuff. And um, the people who got these, there's a lot of them when they start hearing the facts, I think that they are gonna in them own selves panic and make themselves sick. And that's what you need to not do. You know, that's why you need to pull in and you need to fight it with all you've got. You know, you, you've got to get it in your head. Like people, remember, people can cure themselves of cancer. People can cure themselves. You have that ability. And you know, the quantum medical system is going to be available soon. So just, if you did get any of the things, don't, when you start hearing all of the scary stuff, don't panic. Remember, you are eternal being. You have abilities of healing, and um, you just you've got to stay strong in your head. You know, this is a war against your consciousness. This is to destroy us. You know, they want to keep you weak, helpless, and hopeless, so that they can medicate you. And uh, you know, that's all they care about is to you know sell you things because they live high on the hog. It's so funny too, you know, we're, you know, passing around this paper. <laughs> they all have real, uh, real, um, something of real value <laughs> while we pass around their pieces of paper. It's, um, 
and we'll go and we'll work hours and hours. We'll go work hours and hours with a couple pieces of paper and, you know, they'll just sit there and wait for us to go out and spend those pieces of paper. But, you know, I mean, uh, people have got to see what, what's going on. And, you know, as long as they want to just be oblivious to the world, then, you know, they're destined to repeat this same journey. <laughs> because you either learn from it or you repeat it. That's just how it goes. You know, you go out and look for yourself. Start investigating about, uh, there's so much information. I mean, I've been studying this stuff since I was like 20 years old and I'm 60. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty of information. But yeah, you do have people who are out there. I don't think they've gone through any awakening, any dark night. They just, you know, they feel like they're vibing and they think that they've got all the answers and passing misinformation even in this community you know and that's good good on them you know if they feel good and stuff like that great uh but there's a lot of people who need to do their healing that's how you end up feeling great it's about the healing and you know you can hide it in the closet you can put it wherever you want you know i'm not gonna tell you it's an easy thing to do because it's not it's very difficult uh, but it's necessary and it's just what's going on right now is your gift, a gift to you from the universe. So you have this opportunity because the ascension, where we're going to be when this is completed is going to be magnificent, but you don't get to just jump from here to there. That's not how it works. There's a path to get there and you got to walk that path and it's going to have, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Some people's path is going to be full of thorns and branches and holes and, you know, animals. And some people's will have some flowers, maybe a couple of rocks, you know. Everybody's is going to be different. But the only way to get to where you want to go is to do your work and do the healing. That's how you get out of this hellhole. So, good luck. <laughs>